Let's look at geometric object and its subclasses again. In addition to get area and get perimeter, which are overridden in each of the subclasses, I've added to each subclass a method that is unique to that subclass. Here in circle, I've added a get diameter method that returns the circle's diameter. That's sort of a useless method, but I needed something. Here in rectangle, I've added a get diagonal method that returns the length of the diagonal of the rectangle. And here in triangle is a method that returns the opposite angles for all three sides as an array. Let's take a look at this test program. We already know that this is valid. I can set a geometric object variable to refer to a rectangle object because any rectangle is a geometric object. Because this is, at heart, a rectangle, what I'd like to do is show what its diagonal is. If I try something like this, double diag equals shape dot get diagonal, and then print the result, this will not compile properly. Because as far as the compiler is concerned, shape is a geometric object, and geometric objects don't have a get diagonal method. To get around this problem, I can use a cast. I can say shape is really a rectangle. I'm telling the compiler to treat shape as a rectangle, and rectangles do have a get diagonal method. Now when I compile, it's successful, and when I run it, I get the correct result. By the way, the outer parentheses in the cast are necessary to make the compile work correctly. Now let's look at this code. We have an array of geometric objects and a loop that prints out what each one is and its area and perimeter. This works fine because all the subclasses have overridden to string, get area, and get perimeter. It compiles fine, and it runs fine. What I'd like to do now is get the specific information for each shape. For the circles, I want to print their diameter. For the rectangles, their diagonal. And for the triangle, the angles. Unlike the preceding example, where I knew I had a rectangle, I don't want to write this program to depend on knowing in advance what kind of a geometric object each array entry will be. Here's the pseudocode for what I want to do. If the shape I'm looking at is a circle, then it's okay to cast it to a circle and call its get diameter method and print that. This part I already know how to do. I can say diameter equals, do my cast to a circle, and then get diameter. This will compile OK because I'm telling the compiler, treat shapes sub i as a circle, and circles do have a get diameter method. And now I can print it out. The question now is, how do I determine whether an object is a circle object, a rectangle, or a triangle at runtime? The answer is the instance of operator. If shapes of i is an instance of the circle class, this expression will return true, and it means I have a circle. If shapes sub i is a triangle or a rectangle, it's not an instance of the circle class, and the expression will return false. Similarly here, I can ask if shapes of i is an instance of rectangle, then it's okay for me to say diagonal is treat shapes sub i as though it were a rectangle with a cast, and then it's okay to have the get diagonal method call. 
and I can print out the length of the diagonal. To save some time, here's the code to handle triangles. Let's compile and let's run. And there we have each of the shapes with its area perimeter and its specific information, the diameter, the diagonal, and the angles. The takeaway from this video is to remember how polymorphism works. At compile time, whatever class you used to declare the variable is the one the compiler sees. If you want to use a method that belongs to a subclass, you must explicitly cast the variable to that subclass. But before you cast, you need to make sure that the object really is a member of that class and you use the instance of operator to give you that information at runtime.